Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out our latest optional update for Windows 11 24H2, also known as a C-release update. And for this month, we get KB5062660. And the update rolled out late yesterday in my region. And there's quite a lot going on with this update, so I'm just going to dive straight in. Now, first of all, and as you can see, we have this little build number that's been included next to the KB, which previously we had to use WinVer about Windows to check out. And now with this update, I see that's a new little improvement, which I actually quite like. So if you do decide to install this update, because it is optional, the build will be upgraded to 26100.4770. And I actually think that's a nice little touch, especially if you are running a technical YouTube channel. Now there's quite a lot going on and we have 14 new features, all which are rolling out gradually. So these fixes and features I'm going to mention now, you may or may not see at the get-go. So just keep that in mind. Now, first of all, we have a bunch of new features rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs. So I'm just going to go through these as quick as I can just to mention them because I don't have a Copilot Plus PC. So first of all, there's a new feature for Recall, where Recall is now available in the European Economic Area. In the EEA, Recall, Microsoft says, supports exporting snapshots to share with trusted third-party apps and websites. There's the next new feature for Recall is for all Recall users worldwide, you can now reset Recall and delete all its data. And then moving on to click to do there are four new features rolling out for click to do First one is Practice in Reading Coach is now available. The next is you can now read with Immersive Reader. The next is you can draft with Copilot in Word. And click to do on Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft says, now supports actions through Microsoft Teams. The next new feature, once again, is for Copilot Plus PCs, where we have a new AI agent in settings, where Microsoft says this is designed to address one of the most common frustrations, finding and changing settings on your PC. Microsoft says you can describe what you need help with, such as how, you, how to control my PC by voice or my mouse pointer is too small, and the agent will suggest steps to resolve. The issue, the agent uses AI on your PC to understand your request and with your permission can automate and complete tasks for you. And that's just for Copilot Plus PCs. Now moving away from Copilot Plus PCs, thankfully, now we start getting the features running out to so-called standard PCs. The next new feature Microsoft says on non-Copilot Plus PCs, the settings app, I don't know if you noticed that, but the settings app, shows the search box at the top center to make searching easier and more consistent. And I actually like this little change. It's got a bit of a rounded effect, a fluent design on the end. This used to be here to the left, quite squashed away. And I actually quite like this. It just looks a bit more visually appealing. But it also pushes everything else down a little bit. But I think that's a small price to pay. I quite like that centered search in the settings. And just to mention the next, um, there's a fix. If your PC is set to do nothing when you close the lid under settings, system, power, and battery, and the settings window is left open when you close the lid, reopening the lid might cause the settings window to stop responding. That's been fixed, so that's quite an important fix. And they also fixed settings might stop responding when you try to save Wi-Fi network credentials. And then we've got some changes rolling out for the Windows Resiliency Initiative. And the first is Quick Machine Recovery it has now made its way and is enabled by default now, Microsoft says, for home users. So to get to this, we would head to our system page, scroll down till you get Recovery, and here you'll see Quick Machine Recovery. If your device fails to start, we'll try to fix the problem with device recovery solutions. Microsoft saying when this feature is enabled, it automatically detects and fixes widespread issues on Windows 11 devices using the Windows recovery environment. This, according to Microsoft, reduces downtime and avoids the need for manual fixes. If a device experiences a widespread boot issue, it enters WinRE, connects to the internet, and Microsoft can deliver a targeted fix through Windows Update. So yeah, yeah you can see, you can turn it on. You have the option to continue searching if a solution isn't found. 
look for a solution every 30 minutes is recommended you've got 10 right through to 12 hours and you can restart every 72 hours is recommended and that's from and that's from 12 hours right down to 180 minutes so you've got a couple of options there so that's quick machine recovery which is now available for your home users which i think is a nice move and the next one as we have spoken about previously is the blue screen of death is now a black screen of death according to microsoft and the reason microsoft says they made this change is for a more streamlined interface that appears during an unexpected restart which is actually a system crash but they call it an unexpected restart this updated design aligns with windows 11's visual style and helps you return to work faster according to microsoft the screen displays a more readable layout while keeping the technical details visible here at the bottom what caused the stop error as an example so blue screen of death is now black screen of death and then there's a new feature for the start menu i'm just going to mention this because it's for system admins microsoft says we are adding a boolean option to the configure start pins policy to allow admins to apply start menu pins once so obviously that's more for corporations and enterprises and then the next new feature just to mention there are improvements for snap which makes it easier to learn and use snap in windows 11 according to microsoft and the next new feature microsoft has made improvements to snapping windows with microsoft saying there are now inline messages that appear when you accidentally open the snap bar by dragging an app to the upper center of your desktop or open the snap menu by hovering over the minimize or maximize button and there's a new feature for windows search and basically what is happening i haven't received it yet because as mentioned these features are rolling out gradually if we head into privacy and security what basically microsoft is going to do is going to take your search permissions page and your search in windows page and combine them under one page called settings privacy and security and it'll be a search so those two pages are going to be combined with, with microsoft saying the reason for this is you can find everything in one place under that location and it hasn't arrived in my area yet but i think that is actually a nice move as well in the right direction now just to mention the next the gamepad layout of the windows touch keyboard now includes enhanced controller navigation and improved focus handling for child keys menus word suggestions language switching and settings and according to microsoft there's a new gamepad keyboard designed for gaming that also supports pin signing on the windows lock screen offering controller shortcuts to quick pin entry and full navigation for those who prefer not to use shortcuts so that's actually the last of the new features and then just a couple of fixes that are quite important that are rolling out gradually if we head to the file explorer there's a fix for the three dotted more options menu with microsoft saying if you open the more options menu to view the full list of folders for the current path the drop down menu might not display completely making the bottom part inaccessible i haven't um, actually experienced that issue but that has been fixed according to microsoft and the next fix is file operation progress dialogs might stop appearing when displayed from apps and then for desktop icons there's an important fix if you have an app pinned to your desktop and it updates the app icon might not display correctly and instead show a white page that's been addressed and the next fix is for notifications when you select a windows notification it might not bring the related app to the foreground as expected for example this can happen with outlook notifications so those fixes and 14 new features are all rolling out gradually according to microsoft now on a normal rollout there are a couple of fixes and improvements i'm just going to mention one two three four five for the purpose of this video because they are all important the file explorer home if we head back to that quickly has received a fix where file explorer home might unexpectedly only display a single folder for an example desktop rather than the expected content with recent files and more and there's an important fix for file system where the update addresses an issue in the resilient file system that's refs where using backup apps on large files could occasionally result in system memory becoming fully exhausted 
And then there's a known issue that's been patched where Microsoft says it fixed an issue when using the Microsoft Changi IME for traditional Chinese that was causing problems. So that's important. And here's another important one. There's a stability issue that's been improved and been fixed where the update addresses an issue observed in rare cases after installing the May 2025 security update causing devices to experience stability issues. Some devices became unresponsive and stopped responding in specific scenarios. So that's important. That's rolled out across the board. Windows 10 and 11, 23H2 and 24H2. And the last one, also very important because it addresses a known issue. The update addresses an issue found in the event viewer, which is a legacy part of the actual operating system. As event 2042 for Windows Firewall with advanced security, the event appears as the event appears as config read failed with the message more data is available. And that's been a known issue. And that has now, according to Microsoft, finally been patched with this update. So a couple of important fixes rolling out normally across the board because this is a bug fixing update and a non-security update. Now that's according to the change log, but I did notice something else which wasn't mentioned by Microsoft from the release notes that this update also introduces. So if we head back to settings, head back to our system page, and we head down to optional features, there's a change on this page where the optional features used to be yeah in this main window. Now you have to view features, view or edit optional features. And you click on that and then populates. And you can see I've got six features that have been installed on this device that are optional. So it's another change for optional features and optional updates. So just bring that to your attention in case you are looking for those features. And you've also got see your history. And that'll populate that if you have a history that has recently applied to your PC. So guys, that's more or less what's new with this latest optional update for Windows 11 24H2. Quite a lot going on, quite a big update. And that's KB5062660. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.